And we're back. After a quick snack and uh, drinking my tea, which has been here all the time. For about an hour. It wasn't too warm anymore, I have to say. We're uh, going to continue our war against the Huns. So you want open borders? For what exactly? I'm not going to give you open borders. So next we want... we have 16 happiness. We want to build a writer's guild and a national epic. We want some culture flowing. Also, we're going to get a great prophet soon. An enemy is near, it's a barbarian. I think, yes, it is. Ah. Alright, so we don't want him to plunder our cargo ship, so let's wipe him out. Of course he has 1 HP. Let's use a catapult. No, I'm not going to give you arrows. What were you thinking? I'm not going to give you any of my cities. We might want to set the city at this wheat here, or even there, where the uh, battering ram is right now, so we can trade away these spices. Oh, there's altitude drain for from the Mount Kilimanjaro, I think. So that's uh, that's nice. Great profit, yes, finally. Uh, founder belief. What do we want? Let's go for tithe. That's sort of a no-brainer. And as a follower belief, let's go for pagodas or gardens. No, let's do pagodas. There. Yeah, sure. We want a declaration of friendship. Everything we can do to isolate Attila. We're fourth in literacy, so we're not last. Jinx Khan is last. Uh, the Great Wall. Fair enough. Jinx Khan has completed the Great Lighthouse. Not going to build a national... Uh, actually, we might want to. This is going to be our science city. Since it's next to the World Wonder that counts as a mountain. So let's build the National College over here. Okay, so we have Metal Casting. So that's the Berserker. Strong frontline unit in medieval era. So. Replace the long swordsman, and we can make forges for extra production. So let's build a berserker here. Uh, I don't know how much gold I have, but this is not something I would like to do right now. We're sorry. I am not going to peace with you after what you did to me. Oh, a settler. We're going to steal that. We're going to let you settle in our lands. New policy. We're not into rationalism yet, so we're going for this. We currently get 34 signs. And now we get 37 because of Colombo. Oh, he has trebuchets already. You know what? Let's make a temporary peace with the Huns. A liar. I want. I want this city of here. Sure. All right, so that's that's white piece for a second, and then we'll strike back. Oh, this is ballsy! It really is. Putting a settler right between our troops. Oh, I should have nicked that first. No. Oh, hello. Let's uh, one shot that and take this. Uh, Colombo, well, I have enough workers as is already, so let's return the unit. Mm, let's fortify these guys over here. Let's make sure he can't settle on the coast because this is too close to a city. Uh, can we upgrade these already? How expensive? 70. Fair enough. Three trebuchets. 
It's a bit weird. He's actually funding my unit creation. Ah, oh, someone else. What? Mongolia lost its capital. To whom? Oh, Assyria. Two really aggressive civs. Mongolia has actually been knocked out. All right, so the person on top right now is probably Assyria. Okay, so I can take this city when I want to. Uh, let's build some boats, I guess. We uh, wanted to settle there anyway. So we're going to take a city in a second. Uh, let's put our spy in Tilda's court. Oh yes, the Hagia Sophia. Nice. So now we can enhance our religion. Let's take uh, Divine Inspiration, so we got a fair bit of World Wonders. And... We could go for Just the War. But we're going to turtle with the bit we have. Enhance the religion. Ooh, what's happening over here? Uncover seeks justice. And Biblos apparently is at war. With the Huns. If he's going to weaken his units against Biblos, that's only better for me. Let's go for another political treatise. And... Uh, Hmm. Patronage. Uh, Give you great people. Well, what we do want is a maritime infrastructure. So let's go for that. We have machinery. Thanks, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, so before we're going for universities, let's go for compass. It's going to help us more at the moment. Alright, so where are we on units? We're fourth on units, Attila's first. Which doesn't make me happy. Mm. There. Take that. I know my military is a laughing stock, stock, but I'm going to own you nonetheless. Yes. There. How do you like that? We almost killed three units this turn. We did kill three units this turn. Let's move this guy up there. Defensive bonus. If we can upgrade these guys to Galeasses, we can give naval support to our other units. Chechen Itza has been built. And there we have Assyria. Alright, so do you have anything for trade? Yes you do, you have ivory and I can give you spies for that. And we also want to exchange embassies. Let's get more gold from Carthage. If Carthage is going to declare war on me, I'm rightly screwed. Uh, you might. I might give you open borders if you want to declare war on the hunt. Ooh! 26 gold per turn. That's quite a lot. No, let's not do it then. We can't do that, but we can attack these swordsmen again. I think we're turning the battle here. Attila launches sneak attack against your city of Copenhagen. I know. I think I'm currently holding it off. Uh, so that's bump through to civil service so we can get working on education and something. We're slowly but surely winning the battle over here. Until has made peace with Beblos, so he's going to back off. Can we uh, reach that? I think we can. Oh yes. There we go. How far? Oh, a research agreement. Yes, please. Nice. Alhambra. Attila is doing pretty well. I think we've worn down the majority of his army right now. Mm -mm -mm. There we have education. 
we're getting in a relatively good position to take out Shubat, and after that we'll continue towards Attila's court. Right. Oh, you can probably take out those archers. Otherwise, this is a really strange move. It is a really strange move. Attila is currently the number one on the scoreboard. He's the only person with five cities, I think. Let's move in. units in position. And let's get hammering on a city. Let's see. It's pillage. See if we can make this. Uh, Come on, against land units. That's what we're going for. I think we can take this next turn. This guy. I'm not really sure how many squares it can move. The altitude training should make it three. I think. All right. Can't attack otherwise, so that's not pillage. Let's hope we can take it this turn. It's really close. Let's take it next turn. Otherwise, he might take it back instantly. We don't want that. I should ban a post complete anchor what? What? Okay. And a great writer. It's good. And we can take a policy this turn. Still not in the Renaissance era. Mm, let's go for production coastal cities. So let's bombard Shubat. Maybe I can even take it without. I'm going to take the gamble. Oh yes, it's colored on the map already. There we are. Village 137. What does this city have? Some production, some pastures. We're going to raise it. Good. Now we're in this position, I'm going to end the stream here and uh, Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. And next time we will hopefully take Attila's court and Kabarovsk to join our empire. See you next time.